that to teach skills, you got to control the student's mind. You got to be one-on-one -on -one with them. You have to make it happen right under your nose. If you don't do that, zilch, nothing happens. Here, we'll show you how to do it. You'll hear me say many times in this series that to learn, the teacher has to control the student's mind. We've talked through and demonstrated this drill three times to our group of 36 skaters. Waste of time. Cerise in white, very bright and attentive girl, was just one of five students who could do it this day. Reef goes one-on-one -on -one with the student, but the youngster's in dreamland, not paying attention. Now watch when he moves in. Receives the pass on his backhand, skates around to his forehand and passes poorly. Once the student learns the body and mind routine, then as you add speed to the pass, feelings play a big part. The blade, through your control, slows down or adds to the speed of your pass from backhand to forehand. You soon get to know your stick and the importance of feelings. To date, we haven't forced this student to think. It's about time I got his attention. This bit of philosophy should fit in here. Eyeball to eyeball teaching resembles hand to hand combat. Teacher and student struggle. If they're lucky, both win. Each compelled to learn from each other. Watch this, folks. When he moves in, <laughs> receives the pass on his forehand and passes backhand. Obviously, I didn't get his mind. But I'll tell you something, I will. Stay with them. Watch this. Yahoo! <laughs> we, we did it. Kids can learn anything. Folks, we teach 10 or 12 skating drills, balance drills, okay? And when they get to do that drill well, we give them the puck. Say, here, go with the puck. Woohoo! The walls come crashing down. We'll show you the difference between doing it with and without a puck. And you have to realize this happens or you're at sea. It's most important that you remember that each different skill or part of has to be as natural as walking, talking, and breathing. You have to free the mind before you add the next challenge. Step one has to be automatic before you add step two and expect any results. Here we have to explain again, push with the heel to test it. Now, without the puck, it's a piece of cake. No problem, she's thinking about her feet. Now, try it with the puck. Same way you carry the puck. All of a sudden, she's thinking about the puck and not thinking about her feet. And look, she can't carry the puck, she can't roll the wrist, and her feet are not <laughs> pushing with the heel. Absolutely unbelievable what the puck does to a person's mind. Stand here like that. Now, puck, like that. Now, look at that top glove. She's rolling the wrist. Super. Now she's got way, way too much action. Instead of rolling the wrist, she's moving her hand from side to side. Look how I go through. Hardly move the top hands at all. Now watch this, folks. Demonstrated three times, she's done it 20 times. Look where the feet are. Her mind, again, is totally on the puck. Now, we go eyeball to eyeball with her in the next couple of days. We make her go through the blocks, time after time after time. Her feet get to know the routine, and all of a sudden, yahoo! She goes through the blocks. Look at here, rolls the wrist, piece of cake. But it takes three or four days of outbursts like you're going to see to grab a hold of their mind, to get them listening, to get them interested, okay? To get them to know that you're interested. You're there to help them more than anybody else. And when our teachers get to them, ho oh, oh, ho, the sky's the limit.
This is at least the tenth time our students have been showing Arch to Heel. And about four girls of the 36 skaters are listening and thinking. The others, their minds are blank. Could be any plainer than that, right folks? Watch this. The first guy through falls. Right on his keister, right there. The next guy through is coming through frontwards. Absolutely frontwards, not backwards. <laughs> Most of the rest of them can't coast on one leg, let alone get the other one off the ice and on the heel. I just stood there for about a minute. There were 30 skaters come by. One girl, one girl. The skate that's on the ice. You gotta think, nobody's thinking. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. You got a brain. Use it! You don't think and you're in trouble! In everything you do the rest of your life, you're in deep trouble. Think. Now let's get Arch the heel. All right. That was another attempt to get both teacher and student to think. Eventually it works. Keep up. Bend your knee more. Bend your knees. The more your knees bent, the more balance you'll have. All right, turn. One, two, three. Up, arch the heel. Arch the heel. Turn it more. Turn the leg around. That's better. Bend your knee a little more. More balance. Go for the board. Good job. Watch Cerise. One, two, three for power. And she'll make a T. Arch to heel. Just absolutely perfect. She's making a 180 degree turn. Now watch the push. Comes out of the turn faster than she went in. Mike. Craig and I described and demonstrated how to push with the heel. As in recent shows, same thing, really. We had 30 skaters totally uninterested in what we were doing. Their eyes were open, must have been. They could hear, but their mind was gone. We did not get it. The only way you can teach these kids is get them on the ice and one-on-one. -on -one. And when we control their mind one-on-one, -on -one, our teachers can make anything happen. Hey folks, Mike and I and many on staff are very good at talking and demonstrating. But it doesn't work for any of us. Here, Craig demonstrates. We're about the 10th time this morning. Which foot to use closest to those boards? Bring the skates together, stop at the blue line, turn the toe out, sit, Push. Leave them alone for a couple, three minutes, okay? I tell Mike and staff to leave everybody alone. Now, here's Cerise, first time through. Obviously, smartest girl, head and shoulders, smartest student, head and shoulders, uses the right leg. The girl behind her uses the wrong one. How about that? But then Brittany, she's smart. She sees Cerise, say, eh, use the right leg, so she gets to the right leg. Look at here. Not one in this crew, not one, heard a thing we said, or understood a thing we said, or are using their head. Everyone's using the wrong kind of foot. Stability on the ice. None of the strength of your body will get down there and push your back. No, I got stairs. Look at there. 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 And all starts. special talent to teach skills but the teacher must know that in order for he or she to be successful they have to get 
and control the student's mind. Over the years, some of the best teachers I've had have been teenagers, mothers, and yes, grandmothers. And stay with us later in their series, we'll show you how well they can teach a skill and how well they can get the kid right in the palm of their hand. Yahoo! Except now you're doing heel out, pushing with the toe. Back straight, head up, knees bent, and stop on the blue line. Same thing, but now we're going backwards. Got it? This is Kevin and Gavin. Keep your knees bent. Keep your foot right underneath you. All right. Try and get the shoulder in control. Okay, come on over here. Come on over here. Like that. Watch here. Up like that. Nice and in control. My body square. Out and back together. Out and back together. Keep your knee bent. Back straight. Good job, yeah. Stop. Get the back straight. Get the back straight. Turn. Okay, Nate, knee back. Back straight. Up with Jordan. Push with the toe. That's it. Foot right back in and touch your other one. Take your time. Take your time. Bend your knee. Head up. Head up. That's it. Back straight. Back straight. Keep it going. Sit down and push, Jordan. Sit down and push. Back straight. Head up. Good job. Okay. Well, now get your back straight. Mike don't look at your and feet. Brett. You don't have to look at your feet to tell them what to do. Toe in. Get that foot underneath. There you go. Oh, get up and fall down right. Come on. Keep that foot underneath. Yeah. Okay, just go across this way. Go in. There. There you go. Ah. Keep that foot underneath you. Underneath you. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going up this way. So which foot do we use? No, that foot there is closest to those boards. Keep that foot underneath you. Turn your toe in. There you go. That's hey, that's your best side. That one. That's it. You know, the three skating and puck handling drills that we do, and this one is called the weed are just great opportunities for staff and students to get together. Nobody gets left out. Everybody on staff is busy. And not a second goes by or a student goes by that you can't see something that you can go to him and help him. And it, it works. It works like heck. Staff is busy teaching. Kids are having fun. Kids are learning. And goal takers, whoo, shots, shots, shots. Everybody carries a buck, everybody shoots a buck, everybody thinks super should happen in every minor hockey league system in the country. This is not even close to the traffic we want. We want extra skaters. You know, there are extra problems for the learning. Kevin with Jordan, push with the heel. Chris with Taylor, Dean with Mitch. This young lady has got Taylor in the palm of her hand, and that was no easy job. Totally has his attention and mind. He's listening and thinking. Chris is one reason Taylor improved so much. Mitch with the puck. Watch. She stick handles with the puck and stays in the middle of the play. <laughs> Wouldn't have believed it. Kevin with Melissa. How to go around the pylon. Sit. Push with the heel. Double pump sometimes. Pump, pump. That's it. Try it. That's a girl. <laughs> Amazing how these kids catch on. Watch this. Watch Taylor. Sit. And try to push with the heel. Chris stays with him. Chris is teaching skills at its very best. Woodsy. Look at him sit. Woodsy with Brittany. How to carry a puck. Keep it out in front of you. Out in front. Roll the wrist. Keep it out in front. Not beside you. Out in front. That's it. Joined by Craig. Craig, you know by now is our student. Here he is with Stephanie.
trying to teach her how to carry the puck and sit down and push going around a pylon. 16-year-old, a great teacher.